One of the most important and powerful features of the Cobalt desk are the masters. The masters live on the faders on the left-hand side of the desk. A master is a place to store information for easy access. Just about anything on this console can be loaded to these masters and played back at any time. For instance, if I want to load a group to a master, I select the group number I want, push and hold group, and tap the master key. I now have loaded my group two onto this fader and I can have full control of it at any time. The buttons above the fader can be configured for different functions and the fader itself pulls back the intensity of the group. We can also record information to presets directly on the masters. To do this, we turn on some channels, one channel, four through, 31 channel, 32 plus, give them both some intensity and I'll create a look on stage. Now to record this into a master, I push and hold record and tap the master key for the master I want. It'll automatically give me a pre new preset to record. And if I'd like, I can give that a name and I'll call this the breakup look. Navigate down to record and hit modify. This now creates a preset and automatically loads it onto this master. I'll turn off all of my lights with C Alt and channel. And now when I bring my fader up, I have direct control of that look like a traditional submaster. Now let's make another look. I'll grab some other channels, 21 and 22, put them at full. Maybe grab our LED groups, put that at full and I'll put them into a color. Once I've created my look, I'm going to do the same thing where I'll push and hold record and tap the button on the top row of our masters. Again, give it a name. Call this one blue and record that. Because I have masters on both sides of the screen, sometimes it's useful to switch back and forth. If I'm sitting here running two different looks on two different controls, I can use the fader for one and the pot for the other. If I want a little bit more control for my top look, I can hit the swap key, which just switches which page is loaded where. Now I have full control of both and the ability to switch back and forth between whether I'm using the pot or the fader. Notice as I make these changes that the motorized fader adapts back and forth to make sure that the fader is always in the correct location for the master. Cobalt allows you access to 80 masters, even though we only have 40 displayed at a time. As we're working through here, we can use the range key to move back and forth and allow access to the entire range of masters. For instance, I have master one through 20 loaded here right now on the bottom row and 21 through 40 loaded on the top row. If I wanna change my top row to be 60 through 80, with the master key held down, I simply push master 60 through 80 and release the key. Notice now I have one through 20 on the bottom and 61 through 80 on the top. And I can change this at any point I want. With 80 masters, I have the ability to load this area with a huge amount of information for playback.